Hey guys, it's the Spy Up Guy here today, coming at you from Florida. It's about 70 degrees now, so very nice weather. I wanted to make a video update for you and let you know that Flexus Spy now works on Android 13. Before, there was a problem when you would install Flexus Spy on Pixel device. You would get a message saying that system update was searching for an update. And that was one indication. There was other indications as well, but that was the main one. So that has now been fixed for Pixel devices. There was also an issue where you could not install FlexiSpy on Android 13 devices if you had already installed it before and then uninstalled. For example, if you wanted to upgrade your FlexiSpy version to the latest version and then you would uninstall FlexiSpy, reinstall it. When you did that, it wouldn't let you install the software. That has now been fixed. The issue with uh, 64 bit devices still remains. There are some devices like the new Pixel 7 phones which can only run 64 bit apps. This is the first Android phone to have this, I guess you could call it limitation. For our purposes, it is a limitation. So FlexiSpy still have to update the app to be 64 bit. Right now, the app is 32 bit, so that's going to take some time. Now, reading through the FlexiSpy community, I can see that some people are still having issues with indications appearing on the Samsung devices. I'm trying to get to the bottom of what these indications look like. If it's just a green dot that appears when you're using rim cam or rim video or ambient recording, then that dot should be able to be removed if you use the installation service. That is true for Android 12 and 13, and maybe even 11. But I was reading that some people couldn't get the dot to go away even after using the installation service. So if it's that indicator, that is not such a big deal. You can just not use RimCam, RimVid, or Ambient Recording. Or you could use it, and the likelihood that someone is going to notice it if the phone is sat down on a table or in the pocket, the likelihood that someone is going to notice that indicator is not very likely. Um, but anyways, um, for most of us, this is great news, because before there was this giant notification saying that sync services searching for update. If someone sees that on their phone, they're gonna think, hey, what the heck is this? And uninstall the software. Although they would never know it was FlexiSpy, that is one good thing about that. So I'm going to research more about what the indication looks like on the Samsung devices, whether or not it's just related to those three features. I'm gonna find out more about that and then I will post another video to let you guys know. But for now, I just wanted to give you guys this update that FlexiSpy does now support Android 13. Oh, and as for the other guys that uh, make monitoring software like GameSpy, X and Spy, I don't think that they can monitor Android 13. When I last checked, they can't monitor even 11 or 12 with the indicators issue and the notification issue. So right now I think FlexiSpy is the only option, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. As always guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And you can subscribe if you want more of these types of videos. Let me know if there's anything you want me to test or if there's an, a video you want me to make about a certain subject. And I will do that. I think some people wanted me to make a video about using the ambient and rim cam features. That seems to be a popular feature. That might be my next video. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, well, you guys have a great New Year's. Until next time, Spy Up Guy out. Peace.